Hi everybody, welcome uh, to a little tutorial. First thing I've ever, first time I've ever done a video just on my own without streaming, so it's really, really strange. <laughs> so I hope you're all well anyway, and I will probably mess this up. But, a bit important really, there's been a few things on the Project Car streams where, you know, there has been some problems, faster people coming across slow people, etc, etc, etc. Don't want to go into that too much, but uh, that's caused a bit of upset, which we just don't want. I got put onto something after last night's stream uh, in the in the Audi cars that you that you saw, and it's called Crew Chief. And uh, I'll just pop the uh, uh, screen up here. Yeah, called Crew Chief. Now, I was told about this. I think oh. Probably, probably a long time ago it went in there and out that side and I should have been pulled to one side and uh, slapped for it I'm, I'm probably I'm going to talk to Mark about it but I would really really like to say if you're going to come and play project cars with ourselves you must have it on uh, I just can't see why not and I'm going to show you why it's as easy to do as the screen I've got in front of you where the download link is download crew chief and uh, download that a launch the application and just go through the normal let it install wherever you install it when you launch it you will get this very very simple now th there's three boxes here that will be i think the green when you first open it pretty sure they are sound pack click on that and this green bar will load until it's up to date it may well ask you to restart it just click on restart and then once that one's up to date carry on to the next one which is drivers um, drivers names go through that the green bar will go along here that'll come up to date might have to restart it whatever it doesn't matter and then same with personalizations Go through the same as that until everything's up to date and looks like that on screen once you've got that far you're doing absolutely fine <laughs> the really really cool thing is top right hand corner where you've got your name and this is the name that the spotter is going to call you when she, when he or her is referring to you in the car i was lucky enough to find my own name uh, there's a lot of names in there so you know even if you wanted to be called something completely different i was just lucky enough that i got neil lucky enough because when he's streaming as well he probably would have been funny but someone would have who's who they're referring to and it uh it wouldn't have sounded good <clears throat> crew chief voice you can obviously that defaults to jim i've left that alone but the spotter voice um i've just picked a a, a woman's name just yeah, something different you know right once you've got that done and again when you do each of these i'm pretty sure it asks you to relaunch the software but again it's just clicking on okay and it relaunches it's so so easy i can't tell you uh, then all you need to do uh, you see all the cars all, all the games that are enabled here a set of corsa in 32 bit and 64 bit a corsa competizione automobilista uh, the Formula One games, 18 and 19, uh, Formula Truck, iRacing, the early project cars, 32-bit and 64-bit project cars. Uh, I don't know what the network data bit is, I don't know that one, someone might tell me. Project Cars 2, Race Room, R Factor and R Factor 2 and Stock Car Extreme. So pretty much <laughs> everything that, uh, that, certainly everything I've got and uh, all playable now once you've got that that's absolutely fine just make sure it looks exactly like that i've touched nothing else other than clicking on the game i'm going to use and i'll demonstrate it now on p cars i've not even altered the message volume or the background volume but there's just sliders you can choose what to do with that radio check spotter radio check start your application and that's what comes on basically it's telling you that it's working so it doesn't matter what game you pick 
it's going to come on like that and the comms will you'll hear them and that's what you're going to hear during the game radio check spotter radio check so the first voice you hear is jim that's your crew chief giving you all the information that you might need so your race on the state of your car etc etc track temperatures things like that and the woman's voice claire uh, is a spotter that she's giving you proximity warnings of cars and everything else around you so again can't be simpler that's running now that's fine so then all you need to do is launch the game you want to play i've just loaded up project cars too because that's what we play so we'll let this load up but honestly i'm got to talk to mark about it and i've already spoken to uh, a few people that i've sent it to it's you know especially for the inexperienced as well but some of the accidents we've had are faster people coming across slower people and not maybe just giving them the time or just thinking they can push them out of the way and, and you just can't do that can't do it now you're racing you'd be penalized or even um well someone would record it and and rightly so they would uh, send a recording in and complain about you all right i've just picked a custom race uh <laughs> you can tell i've already tried it my favorite car the Janetta. Uh, just click on start i won't do all the race i'll just give you an idea what it sounds like best way to do it was just to do a video on it uh something you can go back and refer to and have it on screen like. the air temp is 9 celsius the track temp is 16 celsius p11 14 minutes you'll need to get on with this right so that is the uh, crew chief giving me some information before i've even clicked start so let's go get ready p11 I was using it in here, but uh, I've turned that off now. See if I can catch these up and get close to them so you can uh, get an idea. Time to get defensive, mate. P8. Exactly the same on I racing. The cap two mass ahead is now 54.88 I've not chatted much just so you can physically hear moving away because I did hit him and bounce him out the way which really really right side tyres are cold shouldn't, I shouldn't have done that but I did it for an example some of the things that has been happening now project cars now you know the faster guys and 
done it myself, built it myself, so... You're matching race pace, this is good, P7. But even when you want to stick your nose up the inside, uh, you know, it's... Yeah, it's really good. Right side, clear right. To uh, tell me what you think, I'll uh, I'll put a link up on the uh, on the Facebook page as well. I, I, go go! I just can't fault it at all. Then obviously everyone's using it, so if it takes it's clear. A lot of information there. I'm pretty sure you guys will admit uh, it's a little bit of a no-brainer. So, you know, should we have it on every every uh, race night? Of course you should. It's on by default, I think, in iRacing. I don't even know whether you can turn it off in iRacing, the normal spotter. But uh, I've tried it and I think it was still even better than that, you know. So, there you go. That's Crew Chief. So that uh, reloads. Yeah. That's crew chief. Get yourself uh, get yourself on it before your next uh, before your next race night. I think it's a massive, massive must. So anyway, you take care everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day. See you later. Bye now.